of 30, and most of them cannot tell you what their passion is about. And that's something that you really want to learn in college, because once you start doing that, you're able to create a job that you're totally passionate about. How many people had a dream job when they were younger? Or, or have a dream job today? I believe dreams are God's way of telling you what you need to create for yourself. So whatever you dream, whatever you want to do, he puts that in your mind so you can create that for yourself. And in order to create that, you have to self-educate. What college does is just teach you how to learn. Teach you how to say this word with me, no. Say it louder. No. So everybody know how to say no, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's this thing. When you have a dream, you always got to be moving towards that dream. You got to know how to say no to certain people. So um, some of you guys want to play football or you said you wanted to teach. The thing about your dreams, you got to stay in pursuit of it because a lot of times people um, will ask you to um, do things for them or, or even join them in something. All comm majors normally are good at everything. Good at a lot of things because we know communication is the most important thing to any profession. So by us being good at everything, a lot of times we get stuck in other people's dreams for us. So we gotta make sure we say no to people who are wanting us to do stuff that's not gonna create our dreams for us. Can somebody answer why fear is necessary? Why do you think fear is necessary? Have you ever seen a courageous person who never felt fear? Nobody, right? So it's impossible to be courageous if you don't first feel fear. And what we have to learn how to do, especially while you're in college, is be able to embrace failure. Because what failure does is just teach you, kind of what he said, it teaches you the things that you need to know to make things happen. And my motivation for doing what I do is um, I want to create a legacy for myself. Most college students, like myself, my parents didn't have a lot of money to build a business and leave the business to me. Um, so in order for me to create a legacy, I have to do it for myself. So when you self-educate, you make yourself more valuable in the marketplace. And another reason why I do it is because of my faith. So there's a verse in my favorite book that says to be absent from the body to, is to be present with the Lord. And what that means for me is when I leave this place, I'm confident where I'm going. Right? So when I'm going to create this, path, this passionate life or create this lifestyle for myself, the worst thing that can happen to me is I can die in pursuit. And if I die in pursuit, I give up my savings. So for me, I don't have no excuses not to get what I need to get done here. So something that was very hard for me when I got out of school, because of being a college major, there's so many avenues you can go into. So Reggie just graduated college, right? And there's two avenues he can go into. He can go and uh, be a business professional, he can work for somebody, or he can be a professional business. If you're a business professional, you get paid for your time. So you clock in, it's a nine to five, and that's how you pay. When you're a professional business, you get paid all the time. The concept is, anytime we have issues or problems, a lot of times people like to go fix the branches, but if you fix the root of the problem, everything will take care of itself. But um, so it was a demonstration speech, and um, if your girls was there, you would have probably fallen in love with me. But what I did was I, I think it was a demonstration on how to have a perfect date. And so what I did was I, um, my music wasn't working because we had IT issues that day too. So dog was dog was good. But during the speech. I stopped and I gave every female a rose, and so they kind of lit up red. And then at the end of the speech, I took a bunch of rose petals and threw it into the crowd. <laughs> so that was something that was very memorable for them. All the all the hard guys back there, they don't like that because they're not the bushy guy. It worked, bro. It worked. We all have this dream in our mind, but we sometimes wait for other people to get it started for us, or wait for somebody else to find us. Okay, so you want to come in and kick a few reps for us? Okay. If you can rap that if you want to. I got bars. <laughs> <laughs> but so, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> but, 
But so the, the good thing is um, knowing what you want to do when you leave college is so important. Even if it changed, it's so important. But remember this, if you just get a job and you don't know what you want to do, I want you to know how to connect that job to what you eventually want to do. Right? So, and your passion is always aligned with the things that you dream. So I was telling my mom I was going to Kentucky. And can you imagine what the first thing she said? Take a wild guess. What? Well, what was following? There's no black people in Kentucky. And I was like, but so when I came here, I was already on the defense of like, oh man, this is not going to be a good area. So one, just having the courage, despite feeling uh, concerned or worried about something that you don't know nothing about, I came here instead. And I also learned that racism and, and um, being uncomfortable sometimes feels the same. So people might not be racist, they just uncomfortable with you. And so I've learned that and I have an open mind about that. The campus has changed tremendously and now I know y'all got some money, so. <laughs> the campus sucks. The who? The campus. It sucks. Still. Who? It does. Who said that? I did. Was you here? Was you here back in the day? No. Yeah, whenever it was over. Yeah. Cause when you walked in the cab, you, you walked smelled out like the cab was lit. For two days. Problems. They knew my pain. They knew my pain. But I knew God.